Hello friends, this is going to be a quick overview for the Singapore Beta for Dove Might Cry Peak of Combat, also known as Pinnacle of Combat. Uh, this is going to be mostly negative, I'm just warning you. <laughs> uh, they made a lot of changes and a lot of them are for the worst, but there are some positive changes, so why don't we go over those first. So, uh, just not a whole swarm of negativity at the start of the video. So this is pretty important. Uh, I don't know if this will be permanent or not. I'm going to assume it is. Going to assume it is, but basically uh, there's no trash items in the loot boxes anymore. Uh, you can only get weapons or characters. You can't get any junk like you could in the uh, original version, meaning uh, it's mostly like leveling materials and progression materials and stuff. And you had way more of those than anything else because the rates were so bad. The rates actually seem pretty good, as you can see here. Uh, it's all in Chinese, of course, but there's a lot of legendary items and stuff in here. <laughs> uh, they also changed it, so every 10 pulls is a guaranteed uh, legendary. So I think that can be either a character or a weapon. I'm not quite sure which. This is a pretty welcome change. Uh, also, the price of... Uh, getting the books, which are this game's version of loot boxes, went down significantly. So that's a pretty huge change. Uh, you basically don't get any trash in the loot boxes at all. Pretty much all of it can be used. Uh, the other big change... We're already starting to get into negative territory here, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, so if you remember those screenshots of uh, old KOF Online, which was like in a lobby, and they're like... 50 Eoris and 50 Kios. Uh, that's basically what they've turned this game into. There's uh, more than one version of each character. I guess they realized that to make money off this game, they couldn't really not do that because <laughs> there's really only so many active combatants in DMC. Uh, even uh, Mega Man X Dive, which has the same problem, they kind of fixed it by doing collabs and multiple versions of characters, and then they went outside of the Mega Man X mythos. So... Uh, you know, Mega Man Zero, Battle Network, original Mega Man, and stuff like that. Uh, here, the DMC does not have that that luxury, so I guess what they're trying to do is make it so that you can get more characters and stuff. But uh, we'll get into the reason why this is bad uh, in the near future. So let's go ahead and show some of the progression here. So this is pretty standard gotcha stuff. Uh, the more characters that you get, more copies of a character, the more... Passive bonuses and upgrades. You can also level up your character. Uh, nothing really... Nothing really too uh, out of the ordinary though. Now this is the problem. This game used to have a huge laundry list of moves and now there's barely anything in here at all. Uh, this game is a lot more like pretty much every other gacha game right now where you have like... Uh, you know, a character has like a specific role and they have a very small moveset and it's all built around uh, rotating moves, you know, doing your rotations and stuff. It does still have a little bit of the DMC DNA, admittedly, but not as much as you would like. Uh, you're going to spend a lot of time just rotating through moves over and over because there's so few to run run with uh, or choose from. It's really the main problem with this game. You'll see it uh, into play when I get into gameplay, but uh, they did add a couple other things as well. So there's like a mission mode here. There's uh, the the vine of red orbs look like kind of a licorice <laughs> tree of licorice. There's this like gambling thing. Uh, I messed around with this a little bit. I think the coolest thing about this game by far though is that uh, the stamina is just pizza now. So it takes how many slices of pizza to do this? It took like 12 slices of pizza to do this. <laughs> I'm an avid pizza eater. I, th I think that's one of the uh, objectively good changes that they added. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, show some combat here. We actually don't have that many slices of pizza left, so <laughs> uh, I don't know how much I'll be able to show today, but I did record some other footage earlier. Uh, I'll get that out to you guys soon. Through moves as fast as you 
So I basically rotated through their entire moveset just doing that right there. It's not really uh, a lot to really work with at all anymore, which is a real shame. Alright, let's go ahead and show some other stuff. We'll go into training and show the rest. So basically you can have uh, Virgil or Dante or Lady right now. Uh, Nero is supposed to be coming soon apparently, but it's kind of hard to be excited because he's only going to have like one ground S-string, one aerial S-string, a helm breaker, a launcher, and a special. And that's it. <laughs> so it's going to be really boring to use him. They basically completely gutted the movesets. Uh, there actually are some new moves that you can use. It's not completely recycled assets from the original version, but... You still don't really have a whole lot to work with, so it, it gets pretty boring. The tagging is fun, but it just feels hollow because, you know, when you had the moveset and the combo system from the original game, it would be super fun to finally have tagging in the DMC, but instead you're kind of just rotating through the same thing over and over like every other game like this. So the control scheme has changed. Instead of two attack buttons, you have one attack button. Kind of like Dynasty Warriors, you have to get to a certain point in your string before you can launch, which feels really awful. You have your special ability, which is on a really long-ass cooldown, so that's another thing that really reinforces forcing you to use the burst rotation uh, gameplay formula that a lot of other games have, like uh, you know Honkai Impact, uh, PGR, probably the biggest ones, KOF All-Star as well. Uh, you're not really going to want to stay on one character for a very long time because uh, you need to kind of manage their cooldowns and stuff. It's It definitely feels like it, it does still have some DMC DNA, but for the most part, uh, the game just completely lost its identity and depth. It's, it's still fun, don't get me wrong, but you're not really doing a lot of interesting things like you were. You remember, I put up a lot of videos of the Chinese version. I still have access to that version Uh the gameplay there is a lot better, but they also changed the control scheme, so I don't even know how they could even fix this. I would hope that they would just put it back to the way it was, at least at least give you a good half of the moveset back, <laughs> and then let you switch as well. That would be the best of both worlds, but I guess to accommodate the switching, they just kind of completely gutted the moveset, and it makes it not too interesting. So you have an attack, you have a dodge, you have a jump, you have your cooldown. And then there's like a super that you can do. Let's go ahead and do the best we can with these small movesets. One thing that really bothers me is the fact that there's no dedicated launch button anymore, so... If you try to go to the third part of his Rebellion combo A, he won't do the launcher anymore, whereas before you could do it. Uh, it just feels awkward. It feels like a good idea on paper, but it's executed very poorly. It feels like the game has much less depth. They also haven't really fixed things like the defensive options still don't feel that great either. Uh, there is like a just jump kind of thing where if you jump at the right time you get like this QTE attack. Uh, I think the best way to fix this game would be to give back the old control scheme and at least a decent chunk of the moveset and then still let you switch because then you would still have that depth of being able to switch but it wouldn't feel like each character is so limited because this is a problem in pretty much uh, almost every game that lets you do tag combos or switch cancels and stuff is that... Uh, the characters by themselves are not very interesting. It's mostly the synergies and the, the rotations and how often you switch is what makes the combat interesting. Whereas the original game, you had, you had you know, a character action game sized moveset from like, you know, at least a double A AA or triple A game, like an actual DMC. But now all that's gone. You know, I can rotate through the whole moveset, right? Like, like right here. <laughs> 
You can't even enemy step anymore. This feels oddly stiff. I can imagine how fun this would be with a lot more moves. Yeah, it's just a shame. Alright, let's see if there's anything else here to show. Uh, the story seems mostly the same. They have added a bunch of cutscenes, but uh, the story missions seem pretty much the same as they were before, so uh, that's cool, I guess. Uh, pizza being stamina is definitely the most objective uh, good change that they made, but other than that, it, it feels like this is what they've been working on this whole time. This is why the native version has been in vaporware for so long. So they're basically trying to pull the Final Fantasy XIV with this, meaning that they're trying to relaunch the game like they've accepted that it's failed uh, in its original incarnation, and they're trying to make it available elsewhere. Uh, obviously, there's a couple of reasons for that, you know. Consoles have been banned in China for a long time until recently, so uh, a lot of people there probably wouldn't even know what DMC is or really have a legal means of playing it. Uh, I guess it just didn't catch on there. Also, there were a lot of problems. The monetization was awful. Uh, I talked about that in my last video before the beta went up. Uh, all those things just kind of killed it, and also the fact that action gotcha uh, competition is way steeper over there than it is over here. There's a lot more games to play over there, so... Uh, the game had to really stand out, which it did in terms of gameplay, but uh, the service game aspect of it was lacking. The monetization was really greedy. Uh, there was barely any content. Uh, it just felt like if you liked the game enough to spend money, you didn't get your money's worth. Uh, those things have been fixed. It feels like uh, the cash shop is not open yet. This is a open beta where they're going to be wiping, so uh, I can't comment on the monetization, but... Just the fact that you have you don't have a selector still, but you can't get any trash in the loot boxes, and the pity is only 10, 10 pulls right now. I think it means that you know if you did spend money on this game, you probably would get everything you want as long as things are priced fairly. I can't comment on that yet because that's not available at the moment, but you will have access to pretty decent stuff just by playing, it seems. And uh, I'm sure, like the uh, original version, they will have a battle pass and everything so that uh, you can put like a equivalent of like a Netflix subscription into the game and probably get some decent stuff to work with but uh, right now it feels like the non-combat stuff has improved for the most part but the combat is uh, there's no way to sugarcoat it it's dumbed down it's simplified there's not much to it uh, it just feels very limited it's a shame because I've always wanted tagging and character switching combos to be in DMC but this just isn't it man <laughs> you have so little to work with it's not really interesting and it's it's fun in, in small doses, but I don't really think it's going to carry uh, a gacha game that's supposed to last for years. Um, they'll need to keep content coming frequently as well. That was the big problem with the original versions. They drip feed, they drip fed content for a few months and then stopped updating completely. So uh, they'll have to get some better reins on that. But hopefully, it seems like everybody is unanimous, unanimously saying that. The depth is gone, the identity is gone, it doesn't really feel like DMC anymore, the DMC DNA is gone, and this game is going to really struggle to stand out versus other games in the series, other games in the genre rather, so hopefully those things will be fixed uh, if I get into the next version, or if the native version gets updated with this stuff, if there's changes, I'll let you know. Thanks for watching. Uh, there is supposed to be a global version apparently, they keep teasing that, but honestly I feel like right now they need to... Uh, they need to fix this system because it's just way too limited and dumbed down. It doesn't really feel like DMC anymore, and I feel like this game doesn't really have much of a future unless they change those things. There's been a lot of feedback about this in the uh, the official Discord for the game, so hopefully they'll listen. There were a lot of problems with uh, the original version of the game's beta as well, and then they did fix some of those things over time, so we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching.